Aggressive drivers are ruining a neighborhood in Aurora, and that's according to the people who live there. Now they're sick of people speeding, causing crashes, and putting lives in danger. This is all happening in the area of 13th and Xanadu. That's close to the spot where Colfax meets I-225. Tori Mason is your reporter in Aurora and visited that neighborhood tonight. And Tori, you saw some of the damage from those dangerous drivers. Yes, and it's so unfair to the people who live here. Improvements have been made along 13th in recent years. The city has added speed bumps and traffic lights, but neighbors here say they need more. They hope the city can find the cash before someone loses their life. We have kids who play up the street. Little legs on slim sidewalks run up a busy East 13th. Stephen McDaniel says looking both ways here isn't enough. Had uh, someone drive through our fence here straight across. His pleas for safer streets drowned by engine revs. Parked cars hit by reckless drivers still wrecked outside. This truck was on the street, still waiting to be sold. And up the road. We had a whole bonfire right there. A fiery sky, a speeding truck into a utility pole. And then that's nothing. Last week, a driver crashed, landing in a neighbor's yard. At night, they call 13th a freeway, a shortcut to escape the Colfax lights. We've made a comment to the traffic division and other folks, and we're not getting any responses. The city knows something needs to change. In a statement, they write, a corridor study was recently conducted and a plan that includes safety improvements and traffic calming measures was selected. The city is currently seeking funding to cover the cost of construction. Somehow our visit brought relief. Neighbors joked our news car should stop by more often. People are thinking that looks like a cop. They're slowing down. Sarah would rather have real police. Seems like a lot of times they're only here for the investigation. They're not here when it happens. Neighbors know the cops are busy, but they've seen too many paramedics. They're waiting for change and expecting tragedy. Because we're just waiting for someone to veer off the street into one of our homes and kill us. Now I've reached out to APD to get some numbers on things like speeding and reckless driving citations, but whatever data they're going to give me isn't going to be a real reflection on all of the infractions that are happening out here, especially if they're not out here to give tickets. Neighbors for now ask that if you're driving through the area, please drive like it's your family that lives here too. We're live in Aurora, Tori Mason covering Colorado First. And there's hoping people heed those warnings. Tori, thank you. And Tori learned about this situation because people know that she covers Aurora and they reached out to her. If you have a tip for Tori or any of your reporters, you can send her or any of them a message through our website, cbscolorado.com.